Vaccination plays an important part in the health management of the poultry flock because there are numerous diseases that are prevented by vaccinating the birds against them. In today's video, I will talk about how I will vaccinate my 101 Sasso chickens against fowl pox disease step by step and the vaccination schedules for Sasso, layers and broiler chickens, including how each and every vaccine is administered to chickens at various stages of growth, plus some key points and tips to follow before, during and after vaccination, not forgetting home remedy for treating fowl pox disease in chickens. Stay tuned and listen carefully to what I have prepared for you. Firstly, vaccination of chicken is the act of administering a dead or weakened bacteria, virus or other disease causing microorganisms to healthy chickens in a regulated manner in order to trigger or boost the bird's immune system to produce antibodies that will in turn fight the invading disease causing organisms. For instance, Fowl pox vaccine contains attenuated or weakened fowl pox virus purposely to stimulate the body of the chicken to produce army known as antibodies to fight fowl pox disease in case of any attack. It's like training army to fight a deadly enemy who is hard to defeat when you have not prepared for it. Since you have known what vaccination is, let me take you through the process of vaccinating chickens against fowl pox disease, which is a worldwide disease of poultry caused by viruses. If your chicken has dry, crusty scabs that usually start out as blisters, before turning yellow and then brown or black around the comb, wattles and eyes of the chicken, expect fowl pox disease infection. The birds I am vaccinating today are now 21 days old. I purchased 100 chicks when they were one day old and I was given two more chicks making a total of 102 chicks and out of them I have lost only one chick which flew and entered into the pot I was using for heating brooder and died. So to prevent fowl pox disease infection in my remaining 101 Sasso chickens. I am going to vaccinate them today and this is how to vaccinate. The first step is giving your chicks multivitamins one hour prior to vaccination purposely to reduce stress during and after vaccination. Secondly, mix the vaccine as per the instructions from the vaccine manufacturer. The vaccine is sold together with the water for dilution and forked needle with grooves. After proper mixing, place the vaccine in ice to preserve the vaccine while vaccinating birds. With the help of an assistant holding the chicken, stretch the wing, dip the forked needle into the vaccine so that the grooves are filled with vaccine and pierce through the wing web, taking care to avoid damaging blood vessels or bones. Ensure that the feathers should not remove vaccines from forked needle before piercing. After vaccinating the first bird, dip the forked needle in the vaccine again and pierce through the wing web of another bird and repeat the same process until all the chickens are vaccinated. As you have seen, I held the mixed vaccine in my hand to let you see properly how to dip forked needle in it, but it should be put in ice to ensure its efficiency. Note that a chicken is only pierced once from any side of the wings. After vaccination, give your chicken multivitamins in their drinking water. Here is the vaccination schedule for Sasso chicken. Immediately after hatching, chicks are vaccinated against Marix disease, Goombaro, Newcastle disease and infectious bronchitis at the hatchery when they are one day old as indicated in the table. In the twelfth day, they are again vaccinated against Newcastle and infectious bronchitis. When they are 21 days old, they are vaccinated against foul pox disease. Note that coccidiostat should be given to chickens when they are between two to four weeks in either their feed or drinking water. Secondly, Newcastle and infectious bronchitis vaccines should be given continuously after every three months. In case of foul fox infection, the best home remedy to curb down its spread and to aid rapid healing is the application of toothpaste on the dry black spots on chicken's comb, wattles and other featherless parts. Remember that there is no proper treatment for fowl pox. Using toothpaste will reduce the rate of spreading from one chicken to another and healing the wound. 
but it is the immune system of birds that fight the virus. Therefore, it is very necessary to vaccinate your chickens to make their bodies capable of fighting foulpox virus. If you like what you are watching, don't forget to hit the thumb up icon. Before I proceed to vaccination schedules for layers and broilers, let me bring the followings into your attention. Vaccines are generally fragile products, some of which are live vaccines, but in a state of suspended animation. Others are dead, that's why the vaccine has to be transported in the recommended manner, which is usually in the ice-cold or frozen state. Prolonged exposure to atmospheric temperature will result in a rapid loss of its strength. For me, when buying a vaccine, I always put it in a vacuum flask containing ice to maintain the recommended temperature. You too can do the same. Protect the vaccines after mixing by holding them in an ice bath. Place ice in a small container and place the container of the mixed vaccine in the ice because some vaccines have a very short lifespan once mixed. Use the recommended administration techniques and do not vary these without veterinary advice. In the table, I have given administration techniques for each and every vaccine. Always clean and sterilize the vaccinating equipment thoroughly before and after use. Always destroy unused mixed vaccines after the task has been completed. Some vaccines have the potential to cause harm if not destroyed properly. This can be done by mixing the unused mixed vaccines with more water and pouring away. Never vaccinate birds that are showing signs of disease or stress. And lastly, never use expired vaccines. Check expiry date before use. Let's proceed to vaccination schedule for layers. Layers are vaccinated several times than broilers because they take longer in the farm. In the hatchery one day, old chicks are vaccinated against four different diseases, namely Marek's disease, Newcastle, infectious bronchitis, and Gumboro. When they are 21 days old, they are again vaccinated against Gumboro. In the sixth week, fowl pox vaccine, Newcastle, and infectious bronchitis vaccines are administered, but not on the same day. In the seventh week, Newcastle and infectious bronchitis vaccines are given. Fowl typhoid vaccine is given in the eighth week and administered to birds via intramuscular injection in the thigh or breast muscles. In week nine, administer infectious coryza vaccine via intramuscular injection in the thigh or breast muscles. In the 14th week, give a booster dose of fowl typhoid vaccine in the same way as the first one. At week 15, give Newcastle and infectious bronchitis vaccines and thereafter, repeat Newcastle plus infectious bronchitis vaccination every six to eight weeks. As a reminder, avoid using antibiotics or their combinations on vaccination days. Only multivitamins are recommended to be given. Vaccination does not guarantee absolute protection of birds against diseases. It is only one of the pillars to good poultry health if combined with balanced nutrition, biosecurity and good management on the farm. As I wrap up with vaccination schedules for broiler chickens, if you are new here, please subscribe and turn on notification bell to get notified whenever I post an educative video about poultry farming. I will leave a link to my telegram where I will share the PDF of all vaccination schedules in the first highlighted comment. If interested, you can get your copy there. Broiler chicken are vaccinated against Newcastle, infectious bronchitis and Marek's disease on the first day of their lives at hatchery. When they are 12 days old, administer Newcastle and infectious bronchitis. In the 14th day, give Gumboro vaccine and in the 21st day, vaccinate them against Newcastle and infectious bronchitis. When your broiler chicken have reached two weeks, start giving them coccidiostat in their drinking water or feed. Note that the vaccination schedules can vary depending on locality, because some places have diseases which are not in other places. When buying day-old chicks, purchase from a reputable suppliers and always ask for a vaccination schedule. To my brothers and sisters who are personate about poultry, either for side hustle or real business, I do encourage you to start with what you can manage. Don't over plan for what you cannot manage at that particular time because time will come when you will be where other farmers you admire are only if you open up your mind for learning and adjusting together with perseverance and determination. If you start today, tomorrow you won't be the same 
and it is through doing that you will learn more. Like me when I started, I was not able to raise 100 chickens because of several factors, but because of keeping what I could manage at that time, it has made me capable of raising 100 chickens successfully, and I'm very sure next time the minimum number I will have will be 200 birds if all goes well. For you who is still planning, you will realize the importance of starting small and growing big when I'm in thousands, and yet you won't have done anything, so start small and grow big. The best day to start is today, not tomorrow, and not even next year. This channel is dedicated to providing every valuable information about poultry farm. If you follow all my videos, you won't regret starting a poultry farm. And if there's anything that make it difficult for you to grasp the information I share, please tell me in the comment, because I want you to get the very best to solve your poultry-related problems. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.